adventures. If you remember, I made a delicious Kung Pao chicken recipe a couple of months ago. Now this recipe was so popular, but I also love to say Kung Pao. I'm taking this recipe and I'm going to convert it into a meatball form and it's going to be part of my appetizer lineup for New Year's Eve. I've also got cheese cigars and some shrimp nachos. All of these recipes are amazing. Make sure that you're watching right till the end of the video and I'm going to throw up the links to those recipes there. Also, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I upload new videos every week. And ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon. That will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. I'm going to start getting some flavor into the meatball mix. Add about half a cup of spring onions and a quarter cup of shallots. I'm also going to add one tablespoon each of minced garlic and ginger to a food processor and I'm going to process this. Next, I'm going to add two pounds of chicken breast meat and I've just cut this into cubes. Process this and let me just take a quick look as I don't want this to get over processed. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of Shaoxing wine and one tablespoon of Qing Mian vinegar. Now these two ingredients are very typical in Kung Pao chicken. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. This is going to give a really good color and flavor. Next I'm going to add two teaspoons of cornstarch, one egg and let's process this again. This is now looking really good. You really want to make sure your seasoning is spot on, so I like to always fry up a tiny bit and just taste it. This does taste really good, so I'm going to remove the blade and I'm going to start powering through these meatballs the way I've shown you before in other videos. Make sure that your hands are wet Grab some of the mixture with one hand and just squeeze it. Remove the meatball with the other hand. Keep doing this till all the meatballs are formed. My oil is now nice and hot and I'm going to oil my hands as well just so I can smooth out these meatballs one more time before I drop them into the hot oil. Now you can't use water on your hands as it's going to splatter in the hot oil. You can either fry these for about seven to 10 minutes till they're cooked all the way through or semi-cook them and stick them in the oven to finish. It's totally up to you. I'm going to work on the Kung Pao sauce. In a bowl, I'm going to combine one tablespoon of dark soya sauce together with three tablespoons of light soya sauce, two tablespoons of Qing Mian vinegar, one teaspoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine. I'm also going to add a half cup of chicken stock. I'm going to mix this together and keep it aside. In a saute pan, I'm going to heat some oil and I'm going to saute one teaspoon each of minced garlic and ginger. Instead of adding whole chilies like I would in a regular Kung Pao, I'm going to cut about five dried chilies with a scissor and I'm going to add this in. The Sichuan peppercorns are key in this dish. They give the tongue almost a numbing feeling. And this comes from the Sichuan province of China. I like to grind this using a mortar and pestle as it tends to give a very gritty texture. 
Add about one teaspoon in and pour in the prepared sauce. Bring this to the boil and add half cup of water. To thicken this up, I'm going to add a cornstarch slurry. This is literally just cornstarch and water and I'm going to add it into the sauce. The sauce is going to start to bubble and it's going to start to thicken and at this point I'm going to tip in all of my meatballs and I'm going to toss it to coat. If you want to prepare this dish as a main, you just need to double or triple the sauce ingredients. You can serve this any way you like, but since it's New Year's Eve, I'm going to go all fancy with these Chinese spoons. I'm going to garnish with some chopped coriander and roasted and ground peanuts. This recipe has the essence of Kung Pao chicken in one delicious meatball. Thank you so much for joining me in Craving Spit Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe. Like I mentioned before, it's perfect for New Year's Eve or any other celebration. Please also make sure to check out the other recipes for New Year's Eve. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I upload new videos every week. Also, ring the bell. That's YouTube's new bell icon. That will notify you every time I upload a new video. And the fun does not stop there. I have a ton of footage that I upload to all of my social media channels. So please make sure you're following me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Until I see you next time, Happy New Year, guys. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Bye.